Recently, I did a review of the Orca Torch D850. On the same night where I dove with my Orca Torch for the first time, my dive buddy Mark was also trying his brand new Ocean Quest 3600. Like most divers, Mark didn't test the runtime of his light prior to diving, and at the end of his one hour dive, his light was completely dead. He was relying on the specs provided by scuba.com and Ocean Quest. On the scuba.com site, as you can see, they state you will receive a runtime on high of up to 180 minutes, which is three hours. The Ocean Quest manual states that in high you can expect a runtime of 1.5 to 3 hours on high with two 18650 batteries. I recommended to Mark that he perform a runtime test in a bucket of water. Back at home, he obtained a runtime in under an hour. So he returned the light to scuba.com and they provided him with this replacement. And Mark has owned everything to me at my request for further testing. So this is the packaging you receive of the light. And on the packaging is a link to an online manual that you can download. The light has an included lanyard. You also receive a USB charger, two lithium rechargeable batteries. These are the 18650 size. One of the first things I notice is that the tube that the batteries go in, the diameter is substantially larger than the diameter of the battery. So what OceanQuest and scuba.com does, they include this adapter which converts the battery to a larger size so it fits better inside the tube. And you can find these adapters online and they're designed for flashlights that use a larger battery. This is the 26650 size lithium rechargeable battery. And this battery fits in the tube. So for a light that's designed for that size, if you want to use this smaller battery, you'll need some sort of adapter to make it fit. That's one of the, one of the things I noticed. Okay, so we'll talk more about the batteries in a little bit. Now the charger, this is the charger that comes with the kit for the batteries. And the first thing I noticed, the charger seemed really low quality. It's difficult to get the batteries in. It's hard to pull back in these spring clips. And then when you get the battery in, once you get in, you know, it wants to cock sideways, so it's hard to get it. Okay, there we go. The other thing I noticed, thought I was putting the batteries in wrong because one side just way brighter than the other side. Probably not a big deal, but just a lot of signs that it's just a, a low quality charger. So I've already done a runtime test. So let's go ahead and look at my runtime test. Okay, we got some fully charged batteries and ready for our run test. Always do a test in a bucket of water so the light won't overheat. Turn the light on. Oh, there we go. 57 minutes. So the light will start flashing when the batteries are depleted. So almost an hour, but yeah, only 57 minutes. Okay, so that's right in line with the first light that Mark received. So now we've had two different lights from Ocean Quest, and they both have the exact same performance. You're getting right around an hour or less run time with the batteries that are included with the light system. Okay, now let's go ahead and evaluate the brightness. Ocean Quest claims their light runs at a maximum of 3600 lumens. And then as a comparison, I also have my Orca Torch D850. And Orca Torch claims that their light runs at a maximum of 2500 lumens. So let's go uh, do a test and we'll see which light looks brighter. Okay. It's level one on both lights. Orca Torch. Ocean Quest. Orca Torch. Ocean Quest. So the uh, Orca Torch is just way brighter. Now let's go to level two. Hold on. Okay. Okay, level two on the Ocean Quest. And now level two in the Orca Torch. Level two. Level two. Level two. Level two. OK, 
Okay, long distance. There's a worker torch. Ocean Quest. Worker torch. Ocean Quest. Worker torch. Ocean Quest. One lesson I've learned is that it's hard to trust lumen claims from light providers. I don't have a way to accurately measure lumens, but to my eyes, the 2500 lumen Orca Torch D850 was significantly brighter than the 3600 lumen Ocean Quest at level one high. The real big difference is level two medium though. Ocean Quest claims 1450 lumens, while Orca Torch claims 1050 lumens. I can tell you that Ocean Quest brightness on medium with the light I tested is so dim I wouldn't recommend diving on medium as it would be very unusable in my opinion. The Orca Torch stepped down a little from level one high to level two medium but still seemed almost as bright as level one. Another note, the Ocean Quest has a regulated output so the brightness level stays the same regardless of battery level until it dies. So I want to attribute the brightness to the batteries. Now let's get back to the batteries. Why is scuba.com not recommending or providing the larger 26650 batteries with greater capacity? Someone even asked about the 26650 batteries on the Q&A at scuba.com and they said the manufacturer suggests using only 18650. This seems to contradict the Ocean Quest manual that states the light will work with 18650 or 26650 batteries. There might be a legitimate reason for all this, but I'm wondering if they are simply trying to package light together as cheaply as possible. Even if the 18650 batteries they are providing offer much lower capacity than in what is currently available. I did test the light with my EFES 5000s. The light seemed to work great, and after two hours I terminated the test. The batteries were still reading 3.5 volts, so they would have gone for a little while longer. So let me know what you think in the comments. Should we have expected to get such poor performance with the free batteries included with the light? Or should we have expected that the light live up to the performance claims?